You got a cricket? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm making these little um um cake toppers, and so I'm like trying to poke the stuff out because the lady's gonna come. She's supposed to come at twelve, and I was oh. like trying to like finish. But we do need to finish recording for um for tomorrow. So okay. Which was we started. Let me see. Let me get you what I'm doing in one second. I love that you have a cricket so, and you do stuff in house. It's really easy and all that. Oh, it looks like it's bubble. It looks like it's 3D. What is that? I put the, I put the toothpick in between the um, background. So what it is, it's, uh, oh, where's the camera? <laughs> so can you see it says happy birthday? Yes. Cool. Going in and out. So it's just like a little cake, a little cake topper that I'm making that says happy birthday. Nice. So it looks like it's kind of like 3D because I put the toothpick in between the um the offset that I did. So it makes it look like it's 3D. Well, good. I would love to see a, a tutorial on how to use a cricket in your business. I will be more than happy to show that to you, Tamla. I will make. I will put that on my list of things to show. It's lovely. I love it. Thank you. So this one, I um, I didn't feel like making a template. I know how to make them on Canva, but I didn't feel like making them. So this one I bought from the Cricut store and it was like 99 cent for this um, particular one. And then I, it was for like a large cake topper, but I wanted to make it for cupcakes. And so I just resized it on the Cricut app. And when I resized it, I made it small enough for, for cupcakes. So it's like a little cupcake top. That is so cute. I love it. It came in like, thank you. It came as like a 12 inch cake topper. And then I made it, um, I made it for. Really, really? Yeah. Cute. I made it like a two inch. So that it's easier. So I want to show, show you guys what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you. I think I have to take off the blur. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. So what I'm doing, this is... So this is called an offset. So it goes... It's just like a little bit off. Oh. Of the and then... The final one is, hold on one second. Put it like that. Yeah. Let's see. And then the final part is just the writing that says happy birthday. And this is all through the cricket. It all cuts out with different paper, different webs of, webs of paper, uh, thickness of paper and stuff like that. Yep, you just put in uh, what you want, and then okay. it cuts it out. So I made this design. Like I said, it was a bigger one, and then I made it smaller. Mm -hmm. And so um, now, just punching out all of the little, I guess this would be like the weeding part that people talk about. Oh, okay. So this is so convenient for any uh, sweet treat maker, especially if you're doing something personalized. You can just go to your Cricut. Um, we would love to see the machines or maybe we'll put the picture there for a Cricut machine and you can personalize all of this for your client. Yeah. So like today I have a couple cakes that are going to be picked up. So I made um, a Super Mart, a Super Luigi cake mm -hmm. topper. Um, I didn't record myself doing that, but I did make the cake topper 
for our <laughs> Luigi birthday cake. And then I made these um, for another order that I have. Okay. How many more do you have to do of those? Um, I'm just gonna do like three. Oh, okay. The thing about um the thing about this is when you make them smaller, unless your blade is like sharp, like super sharp, mm -hmm. it may take um gotta go through and like punch out all of these. Mm. This no is the time consuming part. Yeah. It's worth it. I'm sure it'll look cute. They'll be happy. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Two and three. They asked for a dozen cupcakes, but um, some of them, some of the cupcakes I did were um, like they look like roses. Mm. So I'm not gonna put on the ones that look like roses. I'm just gonna put them on the ones that are. Um, Are just like flowers. Mm -hmm. So then you just take some glue. What kind of glue is that? This is just um, some all purpose glue that I'm using. Um, I like to use this uh, clear one. Mm -hmm. Clear glue. You do that, then I'm going to put my toothpick. Um, in between. It's just a layering effect. Yeah. I'm going to add the first one. Make sure my toothpick straight. Hold it there for a couple minutes. And you want to just like get it in the, in the center so around it is as even as possible. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get the like offset effect. <laughs> and then um, a trick that I use for the letters because they're like really um, small. When I'm putting the glue on it, I just use my tweezers to oh. put the glue. Yeah, that makes sense. So I don't have to hold it and the glue doesn't get stuck everywhere. Yeah. And using that clear, you know, you're going to guarantee that it's not going to show up. And if you use the white or a different color, then that would shine through or come through, I would think. That is definitely correct, Tamala. I smart. <laughs> you are. You are. You are. You are. And then just take that. And put it on there. Ah, I love it. And voila. <laughs> talking about having personalization for your customer, talking about, you know, the price point of when you're doing these kinds of things. You know, this stuff is not easy to do, and everybody doesn't have the skill and talent to do it. And um, we're seeing right here that Taylor has. One, the skills and talent, the tools, and the know-how, how to do something like this. So we're getting a first-hand look at how you can include this into your your business. Yeah. And if I had my, like, the right equipment in here, <laughs> I will show you guys how to. Oh, we can show up here. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Really cute. Yeah. Happy I would be birthday. happy to see that on my cupcake. Well, be sure to send us, you know, show us the final product when it's all laid out and pretty in the presentation or the delivery box or whatever you're going to do. Yeah, I definitely will. I'll show you it once, once I get done.